This is the energy vibration um, reading for the Aquarian Sun, Moon, Horizon sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for um, the wonderful energies. Um, the energy of this week is the energy of the world. Okay, and this is going to be good um, because whatever is transpiring, whatever is happening, it's going to be a positive, positive energy. Hold well, on. So, as we look at this week energy, there is just so much things that is going to be coming up in this week. Um, because um, we are going to be looking at certain energies. I wanted to change my card deck, but it's okay. So, the energy of the world is here with the zodiac energy of the hair energy, which is your birthday. So, you're in your zodiac birthday. Please remember to cross watch to see all these people that is coming up because these people that are coming up, um, you need to cross watch to see how they're going to affect you in your life. Okay, so um, this week is the energy of the hurt, it's an earth week, and you begin with the two of pentacles. Okay. Um, then on Tuesday you have um, a fire energy on um, Wednesday and the crowning of your week you have the energy of the hermit um, obviously some of you are dealing with uh, an organization in this week and groups of people whatever the organization is definitely that is what is coming up this is another earth sign um, there was some lies and deception that is going to be coming out in this week um, so beware and um, be careful what side um, you're working with because obviously uh, whatever lies and deception that has taken place whether at your work or in um, with an organization it this could affect you in a lot of ways okay um, so it could be the utilities it could be insurance it could be you know just name it these people that you have to deal with it could be a plumber it could be you know just name it there is really some deception in an organization but um, the wheel of fortune is is here on um, Friday which is very good which is a fire sign now in the weekend you have fire and hurt okay so whatever um, in a strength you're trying to find in the weekend you have the fire and hurt your central is the five of Pentacles and it's in the upright so Obviously, um, it could be for taxes for some of you, but for some of you, it could be different situation that is happening in your life. Okay, so whatever it is, it has to do with um, financial, your financial stability because of uh, some of you uh, could be looking for a new work. Some of you could be finding out that um, an organization lie and and this de deceive you out of some money and that sort of a thing. But it's just really going to be coming out. It could be you who have done it. Or um, this organization okay so um, let's see um, what is transpiring for you guys um, it is all about um, the there's so much major arcanas that you guys are having and this is the reason why I said to people listen to the weekly readings and go back and see where and uh, these uh, energies this could be an Aries person for some of you this could be an Aries um, this is a boss definitely some of you are going to be having some situation um, with your boss um, here is and an you're going to see that your boss have lied some lies and deception comes out about your boss about a money situation so your boss should have paid you and he said he doesn't have the money and they're going to find out that he has lied okay and the money is really going to be coming to you because they have find out that he have he or she have lied okay it's as if they were saying oh we don't have any money in the company and they found out that it's not true because he has been um, hiding money away okay and that is just going to be coming out um there is a situation here um, that you could be dealing with a Sagittarian this could be your mom um, or your father uh, or you could be uh, dealing with um, that your parents your mom is in the hospital or some something to do and there is some hardship because definitely um, you, it's as if you have to go and visit your mom 
or your mom is having some hardship, or it could be your mom or your father but most of, it's coming up as a female energy because this week is full of female energy so this is going to be a very feminine week a week of nurturing that is going to be coming up for you guys okay let us look at the energy of the two of Pentacles because it's obvious that some of you have been deceived um, out of some money that you were supposed to get so the two of Pentacles um, you're turning your back okay you're going to make a decision about something and you're going to be turning your back on whatever it is so the delusions that has been going on for a very long time okay so there was some delusion that was going on for some very long time now the two of Pentacles is always where you're balancing out um, a certain aspect of your life and certain situations in your life and this has to do with a situation with your boss now your boss hasn't been very honest and now it is coming out because it's if uh, there is some um, research it could be also if you are in university college and you're dealing with a professor and that sort of a thing he hasn't been very honest over his cycle for whatever reason he might not like you for whatever reason but it's coming out um, in this week okay so what you're going to be doing is make a decision do I want to stay at this job anymore do I want to do this job anymore do I want to be in this place anymore but whatever the decision is it has to do with you and someone in power and you're going to make a decision to turn your back okay some of you are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This person could be coming up as a father figure, or the, and as it is a father figure, whoever this person is, um, some of you are going to have to make a decision. It could be your partner, but it could be a father figure because this person is forty-five years and older. It could be also someone in power. While it doesn't have to be, but you're going to be finding out something about this person. Okay. Um, this person is, um, you know, I'm not getting, a, 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 it's, it's as if this person really do care for you and it's going to be helping you out for some of you. Some of you, this could be your boss. Um, if your boss is a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn, you're going to be seeing the truth about a situation and realize what has transpired, what has happened. Some of you are really, um, whoever this person is, um, whether it's at your work or someone in power, they're going to be seeing the truth of a situation that has transpired. Okay, some of you might not see the truth, and you're looking deeper at this person, or how, however, this person comes up in your life. It's a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Now, again, um, the energy of the organization is here for you, Aquarians. Um, and if you were dealing with some unflavorable situation with an organization, you're going to be coming out and you're going to be victorious with this situation okay so whatever that was um, um, plain whatever that was transpiring you're going to be definitely coming out and uh, um, seeing the lies and deception okay some of you be careful because someone else could be winning and not you now there was some really some lies and deception um, some delusional things um, that you had to deal with and here again um, the Pisces cancer or scorpion person is coming up so whatever the energy is and whatever that is transpiring um, you are going to be finding out that this young person uh, it could be your child for some of you or it could be an ex-lover um, and it was a divorce and they're fighting over money because it has to do with money because it's in the center of your reading it's money it's hardship the truth is going to be coming out because they're going to see that this person has lies and deceive okay so we have the wheel of fortune so what, let's see what's the wheel of fortune is coming up um, some of you had some loss in the past with some um, money because of evil of people okay so um, it could be you who have done it by someone else and if you have done it by someone else then the wheel of fortune is going to come around for you at this time so you need to be aware that if you do this sort of a thing if you deceive someone else you're going to be um, um, caught because obviously it was as if some of you have deceived someone else out of some money like if you are a salesperson it's as if you have deceived someone else out of some money and it's going to be caught up on you in the weekend and um, it could be other time for some of you you're trying to find inner strength with a family okay 
whatever the situation is is that there are situation that is coming up with a family and some of you ladies trying to find inner strength with a family and you're going to be receiving help so if there is situation with your family where you know things are very hard and that sort of sort of a thing um, help is going to be coming you're going to be definitely receiving some help um, from um, different sources it could be that this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn is going to be coming in to help you out okay so the um, Empress is here and the Empress brings back the Wheel of Fortune so there is really some wonderful positive energy that is going to be coming in because the Empress oh okay so you're ending um, this is going to be good for you Aquarians because what is transparent is that your obstacles will be over okay so if you were in a more um, area of your life where you're dealing with some hardship whether is it with money or whatever the hardship is they're going to be over and this is going to be good okay your hardship are definitely going to be over and this is going to be good so um whatever lies and deceitfulness that has happened and as transpire the Empress is bringing you the wheel of fortune and bringing you your wishes and dreams um, to come back in your life so this is um, really really going to be um, really positive um, extremely positive so um, this is really a good reading for um, you guys so let's see I'm using the energy of the divine deck and they're asking me to go back and look at the freedom um there is a message out there for someone so if you ladies who have kids have been going through some hard time this is going to be resolved in this week okay so you ladies who have been really going through some hardship with the family you're going to be receiving help and support number six the energy of number six is coming up some good news um, some of you could apply for something and they're going to say yes okay um, whatever your business whatever you have applied for it is going to be a yes answer um, here what whoever you were dealing with um, that there was some lies and deception it's going to be coming out in this week okay so wonderful news I have card one and card two please choose one of these cards now, if you choose card one, it's a be the side that be the side. And what what this energy is coming up is that you need to make a decision, okay? And that is the energy of the number two energy there, um, which a decision needs to be made, um, made for some of you. And you need to um, know exactly what you want. It's as if you're you're going with a win, you are an air sign, you're going with a win and you need to make a, a, a positive decision of what you want. The second card is saying go with the flow. Go with the flow. Whatever is going on, just go with the flow. Don't push against the current, just go with the flow. Okay, so some of you who choose card two just need to go with the flow and understand what is happening for you in this week. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say namaste. Until next time.